Hi, good morning everybody. So I am not sure that uh, if the internet connection is working really well. Um, so please uh, let me know if you hear me okay, uh, if you see me okay. So let me know if you can hear me okay, see me okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I hope uh, this uh, Facebook Live will go through smoothly. And uh, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. Greetings to everybody from India. Um, so, Today's uh, topic, uh, it's uh, finding the voice of freedom when speaking on behalf of social justice. Um, connect first with awareness of silence. So this is the uh, title for today's uh, Facebook Live. And um, I just wanted to... Um, Sorry, there's some kids. <laughs> some kids are having fun outside in the park. Um, so this this is the title that I thought it's appropriate title because um, uh, today's world in many countries uh, there's a lot of unsettling uh, social issues. Um, and also people are trying to find their own voice to uh, help the society and so I think uh, I think it will be very very good thing to discuss about it from the point of view of the practice and I wanted to say why I mean what I mean by a point of view of the practice is because um, um, as a practitioner of any kind any spiritual tradition um, we all, in the end, our spiritual practice that we feel, that we believe, that we trust, that we are trying to apply in our everyday life uh, is because we want it to benefit uh, individually and collectively and some social impacts. And that's the reason why we are trying to practice our spiritual practice. And that makes completely sense because somehow our spiritual practice has to be uh, connected deeply in our own personal life. And in our own personal life when we are f um, facing challenges in the situations, in, in the social situations, uh, we need to, to, you know, able to find some way of integrating our spiritual practice our view, our meditation, our conduct. Uh, we need to find some way of integrating these three principles in the situations. So I think there are many people uh, in the, as a practitioner, I think we all um, find ourselves in that situation. We sometimes lose the connection to our practices and um, and sometimes we also are not really able to impact what we meant to uh, find some solutions or some uh, change some situations in the society. We don't find that. Neither we find some sense of uh, one's own uh, spiritual development. It's kind of disconnects both places. So this is the reason why I thought it's about integration of uh, social issues and also it's about one's own deep belief spiritual practice how they uh, are connected and they play interconnected roles there so this is the topic that i wanted to talk um, what i'm trying to say here is it's not about that we should not uh, come forward that we should not uh, find our voice and fight. Uh, this is, it's not about that. This is about 
we should find first our ground what we say in the doctrine teaching we say base or we sometimes refer as a source source we need to find some sense of connection to ourself uh, we need to find some sense of uh, confidence in ourself we need to find some clarity from that source from that place we need to define some sense of deep sense of peace and the warmth in that place and from there then we need to define our own uh, voice of freedom uh, a voice of freedom the voice which has a maximum amount of openness the voice which has a maximum amount of clarity the voice which has maximum amount of strength um, sense of power but voice which voice which also have a sense where there is a warmth and kindness uh, understanding of greater um, greater collective purpose of society rather than uh, divided uh, social issues uh, rather than individual benefits or divided social issues like a political parties or the two sides of the opinions so um, of course uh, uh, all situation has different opinions about it and everybody believes in their aspect of the truth uh, which is fine but I think in some sense um, whenever people speak out they lose that uh, the connection to themselves they lose the connection to the, that ground they lose their connection to that base they lose the connection to that clarity and because they lose all those connection then they feel anger frustration they feel fear uh, they feel doubt and basically in the Dharma in the teaching from spiritual point of view we say um, three root poisons for example if you are trying to or anybody is trying to uh, on behalf of social justice if anybody is trying to uh, raise your voice and trying to fight for something first of all we wanted to make sure that if I uh, and if I have lost, did I lose, have I lost the connection to myself, uh, am I deeply rooted in ignorance, and am, uh, am I with full of doubts, uh, am I feeling like a frustration, anger, hate, am I feeling it is because of the greediness and attachment so if it is from ignorance and doubt if it is from frustration and anger and hate if it is from greediness and attachment if the if it if, if my voice what I'm trying to say on behalf of social justice if it's coming from these places so-called three root poisons and which is only manifesting three root poison because of I have lost the connection to myself if it's coming from that place then it's not I don't see really it's going to help so much because it really lost its connection it, it's full of doubt and hate frustration and fear attachment anger all these negative emotion is fully charged with these negative emotions and the voice coming out of that is I don't think it's going to benefit so much not at all uh, impact will not be there what we meant to what we hope for it won't be there so I think as a practitioner's point of view you also once again you lost your sense of your practice integration or practice in the name of social justice and um, and you also 
or quite clearly know you will not probably find uh, a positive outcome either it's your individual uh, ben uh, outcome some benefits or it's a, a collective uh, benefit of the community or it's a larger sense of uh, social uh, collective social benefit the impact that you are seeking for probably very likely any of these going to going to come because it's just you can see this voice has lost and there might be some time for temporary victory in these voices but in the end it's going to bring more harm than uh, benefit so I think it's very important first of all I think it's very important not to uh, get confused with the good intention with the bad emotions <clears throat> good intention with the bad negative emotions mixing up and not able to have the impact so I think that's very important so again once again from the point of view of I'm only speaking this is it's not a only social or political thing but it has something to do with as a practitioner it has something to do with our own personal and collective evo evolution of enlightenment development of enlightenment and uh, so I think it's there's no benefit of doing that so does does that mean that we should not do absolutely not I think we should uh, do our best to bring a greater social impact I do always believe in the end of the day our spiritual practices any belief any spiritual practices should have greater unconditional social benefit and impact and then those spiritual practice I think they are some uh, yeah greater purpose and also not only when you're talking about it but also in, in fact in, in actuality able to um, practice that uh, able to benefit uh, able to change that when when it comes to a personal situations not not when you are speaking about uh, a general impersonal uh, issues of the society which you know easy to speak about but when it comes to your own personal situation in a similar situations then you need to, to make those changes within you your surrounding and that's the only way then I think in, in, there is some sense of greater change so let's talk about a little bit about how should we uh, or how should we speak out how should we find our true voice, a voice of freedom? How should we find our uh, a deeper clarity? How should we find a greater a collective uh, purpose? Uh, how should we find a purpose which is not its individual, a purpose which is not uh, divided with the political parties, a purpose which is not uh, divided with uh, one specific opinions and ideas, but there is a clearly a, a greater uh, collective uh, purpose uh, is there. So I think how should we find? So I think that is that is a very important question. So so I think I'm going to try to uh, do a, a short meditation here that uh, all of you uh, you know we can. Uh, my, including myself, everybody, all of us, uh, we can try to do a short meditation in in a particular situations in your own life. That it's uh, the truth that you're trying to find in a in a situation in your life. And the truth voice, I say, the voice of freedom, the voice of truth that you're trying to find in the family. That you're trying to change the dynamic of the relationship of the family. Or if you are trying to find the voice of freedom and the voice of truth when trying to change some dynamic situations in the community, or in a larger sense in a in a in a political situations, whatever it is, uh, let's look a little bit more deeper inside ourselves.
Just bring your attention inward. Just be aware of the stillness in your body. And particularly aware of the silence of the speech. Be aware of openness in your heart, in your mind. Just for a moment, contemplate, reflect in your trying to find your inner voice. You're trying to find some sense of truth, some sense of social justice. Some clarity in personal life. Some voices of clarity to communicate with someone a family, a community, social justice. Recognize your own ignorance and doubt if there is that you feel. Recognize your anger, frustration, if you feel in the situation. Recognize maybe there's some sense of greediness, attachment. Basically, recognizing these three root poisons, and particularly in the situation where you're trying to raise your voice, find your voice of freedom, trying to bring uh, uh, some a positive impact in your life, family, community, and the society in large. So recognize that you say anything from this 
place of ignorance and doubt, anger and hatred, greediness and attachment. <clears throat> The impacts that you seek will not be there. And many times you, you see people speaking from these three root poisons in today's world. big leaders, angry people, people who are stuck with a very divided ideologies. There's no sense of accommodate, accommodating or trying to understand the other opinions. There's no sense of peace. And you see very often the impact, it's not what we hope for, it's not a positive change in the society. Very often it's getting worse, either in a bigger scale or, or individual life. When something is coming out of these three root poisons there is no positive impact now look at by recognizing these root poisons and letting them go Feel a greater sense of space, deeper sense of silence, wider sense of awareness in which you can accommodate these feelings, host them, be gentle to them. Hugging with peace, hugging with warmth, hugging with care. And breathe deep and allow this experience to self liberate, dissolved by themselves like a dropping a snow in the ocean. They melt by themselves. Be that ocean. Be that unbounded crystal clear sky. Allow the clouds and allow, let them disappear and see clear sky and the luminous light. Be that mirror, allow the images, accommodate them, let them go. As these three root poisons, doubts, dissolves, 
more sense of clarity and confidence arises. The anger and hatred dissolves, more sense of warmth and care arises. The greediness and attachment dissolves, more sense of generosity, giving, accommodating, sense of allowing arises. Now feel this sense of deeper connection to yourself, what we refer that as a ground in Tibetan. We say Zhe, your ground, your source. In that ground, there is a more sense of a confidence. There is more clarity. In those clarity, confidence and warmth, find your voice. The voice with confidence. The voice of freedom. The voice of clarity. The voice with flexibility. the voice and also this connection to other side the other others pain others challenge others effort others good intention Connect with the other side. From this place of space, awareness and warmth, you can connect with the other side, other opinion, appearances, because you are also connected with yourself, connected to your your source. You're feeling your inner space. You're feeling your inner silence. A voice of freedom. Just for a moment, contemplate and see the differences between being connected to yourself, being connected to that silence, voice of freedom, being connected to other side, the other people, others feeling, others positive intentions. Now, see what voice you are finding now. You feel 
more free. You feel wider view. You feel more inclusive. You feel greater purpose, a collective purpose, not individual and party, but greater a collective purpose as a society. The voice that you are going to find, it's, it's coming from deeper place with more clarity, confidence, more warmth. The impact this voice is going to bring, the greater impact, greater positive impact. In all level, either it's a personal, collective, or in large sense of society. So now you can open your eye and uh, my question to all you all, it's very, very simple. So uh, basically it's a uh, twofold. One, um, that th those you are in that particular um, situations in which you are trying to find your voice to, to uh, change the situation and bring the positive impact in the situation or speaking in, in on behalf of social justice can you recognize how often our voices are coming from disconnected to our source to our self and disconnected to the collective purpose and disconnected to other side of the people. Do you recognize that? Do you recognize how often these voices are coming from doubt, fear, frustration, anger, How often we don't even recognize that these are coming from these doubts, frustration, anger, hate, greediness, self-greediness. How often we don't recognize it's not bringing any benefit. Can we find a solution, not always be completely opinion, opinionated, outspoken, judgmental, judgment, I say judging every situation outside without having clarity? Can we find some sense of recognizing these? Can we remain a little bit longer silence? little bit deeper acknowledgement of our own pain and others pain finding connection to deeper source of ourself and also connecting with the other side of the people their challenge their pain their positive intentions out of these reflections and awareness can we find uh, some deeper peace deeper clarity a more clear voice, voice of freedom.
So when we find this deeper connection to ourself, deeper connection to the other people, then there is a greater chance to find more clarity in your voice. So I maybe uh, uh, all of you wanted to share any feedback. Uh, I'm very happy to uh, hear all of you. I see. Sorry for this morning. There was a little inter interruption on uh, internet. So, but it seems like now all of you are hearing me. And uh, so, hopefully, I know how my right sp right sport where these uh, connections are there. So the connections are there and then that's on, only way. This is a very good example, right? I'm moving around, I'm finding and trying to find the right spot where I feel where the internet is connected. And in that connection, I'm, a, I'm able to communicate with all of you. When I lose, the connection is not there, there is no communication. So this is a good metaphor here too. So I hope all of you are... This morning's talk was helpful and this meditation was helpful. And uh, any, any particular situations that you are in, that you're trying to find your voice, trying to change some situations in your life, trying to speak out. But uh, before we speak out, um I hope that you need you understand to reflecting deeper, finding deeper connection, deeper uh, connection to silence. This is what we are saying as a title of it is connect first with awareness of the silence. Connect first with awareness of the silence, going deep and connecting to that place of awareness of the silence. From that, from that silence, you will find your voice, your voice of freedom. And whatever voice of freedom you will find, those voices will have much more greater impact than previous ones, which is coming from loss, doubt, peep, anger, hatred, and so on. So it's not going to find. So, so that means sometimes it's just better to remain silent. You know, even when we, <clears throat> when we, when people are having some trouble and police stops you or some kind of violation or something like that, and, uh, and people, the, the legally people will say you have the right to remain silent. That is the uh, guided meditation of the silence by the police. You have the right to remain silent. Means you have the right to meditate your one of the three precious pills. Why you wanted to do that? Only if you know, if you don't know, if you're disconnected, if you don't know what you're saying, if you will say anything out of fear, anger, that will be used against you. Legally it will use against you. So you have the right to remain silent. If you say anything out of your three root poisons, legally it will be used against you, or karmically it will be used against you. So, well, most of the time in our life, good thing, we don't face those situations very often, but karmically we face those situations all the time. So it's very, very important to to how you say that being aware of that, not actually getting into that situation. So that, that's all for now. Thank you so much, uh, everybody. And so, so tomorrow around this time, I will be uh, coming on. Uh, hopefully the connection will be good there. So, uh, so at the same time, and also let other people know, uh, those who are not hearing this uh, notice from the Facebook. Okay, thank you.